welcome you to the show. So we will be renovating our kitchen and I just wanted to film the process that we're going through and that's what it is at the moment. It's very messy because there's not enough space for everything and yeah we have recycling and it's like a complete mess but that's what it looks at the moment and I cannot wait for the new parts to come and my dad is actually gonna be the one that's going to be building it all together like I'm gonna show you one of the drawers it's actually dangerous most of the time Oof. like look at that is that how a shelf is supposed to be? I don't think so a quick update on the kitchen it's been a week or something since I showed you the actual kitchen and they have delivered the parts that my dad is going to be putting together so what you see behind me is just a small portion of what they have delivered because we're going to be replacing all the cabinets and everything so that pile over here also we have our whole hallway covered in boxes as well the longest one is gonna be a very long cabinet like from top to bottom which is going to be very nice I believe and there are some more over here so we are all packed up at the moment and the next clip that you see is probably when my dad is starting to like destroy everything and then start replacing with the new prettier things over there So that's where we're at with the kitchen, it looks very lovely and it's beginning to look like something. You can see the contrast of the before kitchen with the new parts that my dad has installed and they're very nice because like you can open them and there's a lot of space and then you close them, look at that nice and peaceful because if you compare it with the uh, old ones first one this one is completely broken and then you need to shut it compared to this even if you try see amazing so the well we need to remove some stuff over here but yeah that has been the process lately that's the builder over there. That's my dad. And yeah, it's beginning to look lovely. It's the doors are actually gray, but they're like bluish gray, which I love. And yeah, I'll keep you updated on what happens next. So we have workers from everywhere, but that's like still to go into the kitchen. There's not much space for any of us. I'm sorry about the noise. So there's like more doors, more cabinets. That's Sammy. I finally made an appointment for a haircut. Yay, so he's gonna look like a lovely dog once again. And that's me. Hi. So yeah, that's where we're at, at the moment. So we're about to go to test school with my sister, but I decided that you need an update for the kitchen So I'm gonna show you what's happening at the moment. Keep in mind It's a building site at the moment and everything is messy and disgusting So my dad is hiding the boiler at the moment and he's building that Storage thingy to hide it in and it actually looks very nice when it's closed up I'm gonna show you later how it looks Yep so he's measuring everything by himself and then building it by himself, so kudos for that. Everything else is a complete mess, but I just wanted to update you on the progress. Everything is pretty much done, to be honest. Like, last bits are that over here needs to be added, like, around for the shelf. 
a door is missing over there and I believe we're gonna close those two off but at the moment they're too big and we need to buy new ones or to incorporate like to have a washing machine with a thingy over there the clothes dryer but in one thing and it's gonna go inside and then it's going to be closed off as well and yeah it is a building site at the moment but it still looks pretty nice and you can have a little bit of an idea of what it's going to look like after it's done oh and we are missing a shelf over there but i don't know when this is going to be done so yeah it has been quite a long time since i updated you on the kitchen and i believe it's ready and i'm just gonna show you the finished product now by what my dad has managed to achieve by himself and by far my most favorite part of the kitchen is the sink so that's like an accent piece to the whole kitchen and you know like it goes like a normal sink so my favorite part is that you can take away this one and it's just like very flexible and you can also use it like that which is very easy to rinse off anything and it's just cool so I'm actually filming this a few months later and I just wanted to show you a quick update so that part over here my dad has finally fixed it because it took a couple of months for some reason because he had like some projects that were more important than this one so this one is finished yet and I just want to give you an insight of like the organizational system that we have in the kitchen and keep in mind it's not just me living in here so it does get messy pretty quickly and yeah I just wanted to show you the thoughts I had while organizing it so we have the stove over here my sister has actually cooked some rice so let's just say that you're like cooking some rice and you need some seasoning to add to it but meanwhile like you can find the herbs in this drawer over here like I said it's still a bit messy but it's very convenient to just like get the pepper out put like a bit of seasoning while with the other hand you're like mixing it so I just find it very useful in such way that's what I wanted to incorporate like something that basically works and in here first drawer which is the most used one is like our cutlery but it doesn't feel all the cutlery and things utensils that we have so we go on this side again and we have the rest of them we have the cutting boards the rest of the things that we might need in the bottom drawer here we have all the mugs and cups that we use for like coffee and tea because we are big coffee drinkers all four of us and we do have our preferences so I just wanted to put them in like a separate drawer because it's more convenient I just want to have like a drawer with all the sweets and everybody the things that everybody is craving it's like hell in here but like I said it's not only me living here but we do have like our favorite things in here so that's my mom's favorite my sister likes the potato mash in here we have like different types of nuts for my dad that one is mine for example is my muesli I have my palm arrived chocolate chips in here that I use every time I'm baking something so it's just like the sweetie drawer in the bottom one is something else that's very important to us and that's like mostly bread but we do have like bagels um, different type of bread and we have like those pitas over here as well so yeah that's our calorie drawer and 
it's actually pretty empty this time. So let's move on to the drawer that I showed you last time where something almost fell on my head. So this time it's pretty much tidy. So those are the things that my mom actually hides for herself thinking that we're not gonna find them. And here we do keep our big plates which is very convenient, very, very easy to get access to. On the other side we do have like a matching kind of thing so we have like all the other plates and bowls so very convenient so you see like I wanted to have it like here and here to be only plates so we don't confuse each other in this one we have all the glasses <laughs> and on the side that was like something that my mom wanted so it's like a winery kind of shelves or something so those are the wines that we have at the moment and it's very convenient because like I said in here are the glasses here are the bottles very convenient and also while we are cooking we do have on this side our most used things so there's like this one is our our oil we have the oil spray salt what's this one paprika vinegar and so on so it's like very easy access and also that's the shelf with the microwave and the oven and I wanted to utilize this space over here for everything that's needed for the oven and I'm gonna show you keep in mind it is a mess now but I think you can still see what I tried to achieve and it was achieved but then like nobody nobody does what they're told to do and everybody just like drops it everywhere so that was supposed to be for all the bigger bowls and the pot and all these like bigger things this shelf was supposed to be only for like things like this one which i forgot the name of and this one was supposed to be only for like wrapping wrapping things foils and cooking paper so the idea is there it's not like what it's supposed to be but i think the idea was there another thing that i wanted to give a shout out to is actually this thing from Tefal and it's the best thing ever because you can it goes on like this and it's a grill and you can use it for different things so you can use it for like vegetables meat sandwiches and this one is for like different types of meat so you have like three different settings and it's actually very very nice I've made a lot of sandwiches on it and my dad actually uses it as a barbecue to make like steaks and different vegetables on it and it's very delicious and I would definitely recommend this one and you can easily store it like this so it doesn't take much space in your kitchen which is what we all want isn't it all in all this new kitchen opens up the space so much more and it makes it more comfortable for us to use it and it just like brightens up the whole place because if you have already seen the before footage it looked like something very old and I wasn't happy to cook in it or do anything in it I was avoiding the kitchen by all means and now it's just a place where you can even sit down and eat your food and yeah I really like the shelves and everything that my parents have picked it's not really my style but I do like everything all together in the kitchen so guys, that was the transformation of our kitchen. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again in the next one. Love you all. See you soon. Bye.